Hi, I'm Hidehiko Takahashi from Class NK Consulting Service. We have just started offering EEXI support service. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the features of our service. My presentation will take about 10 minutes. As explained by Class NK today, the shipping companies are required to resolve EEXI issues in the limited time to comply with the forthcoming regulation. I'd like to review once again the key points. First, this regulation will be applied to the existing ships, but the requirement of fuel efficiency is the same level as a new ship. Second point, such existing ships are required to conform to this regulation by the class periodical survey in about one year, 2023. And shipping company is responsible to deal with EEXI compliance. EPL may be required to include EEXI value and the shipping companies need to prepare for the technical documents for each ship to obtain class approval. But we think that will require a lot of work. When we consider the conformity with this regulation, please understand first that the cooperation by shipyard and engine manufacturer is essential. As an important point, when we get a better EEXI value as much as possible, we need to use ship speed, VLF, which is gained by the ship's tank test. When EPL is applied, support from engine manufacturer is also necessary. But engine manufacturer cannot estimate the limited maximum engine power after EPL, since the MCR limit is obtained from EEXI assessment based on the speed power curve developed by the shipyard. And preparing the documents for class verification by shipping company itself is a hard work because technical study is required. That's why we have reached a conclusion to launch this service so that we could be of help for ship owners and management companies. We fully support the acquisition of IEE certificate by providing EEXI assessment for each ship. The best solution for regulatory compliance. Now, let's have a look at the service menus. Please remember this page because this shows what services we can offer. First, EEXI assessment. There are two kinds of assessment. Simple assessment is to calculate the attained EEXI and the limited maximum engine power after EPL using the ship speed by simple formula. The other one is a specific assessment. This is to exactly assess the attained EEXI and MCR limit after EPL, using the ship speed based on tank tests and the SFC obtained from shop tests. And if the ship does not comply with this regulation, we would like to propose the best solutions besides EPL if you like. For example, an engineering service is responsible to the customer's request and budget, such as energy saving device, optimization of propeller, and so on. And third service is to prepare for the technical documents for class verification. One is EEXI technical file, and the other is EPL on board management manual if EPL is adopted. We and KCS will contact the shipyards and engine manufacturers to get the documents for class approval. 
I'd like to move on to the next topic. This page and next page are showing the necessary document, documents for class verification. First, EEXI technical file. We'll make this file based on the information shown in this slide, which will be provided by the shipyard and engine manufacturer. Next, about the documents on ship proportion performance. This will be provided by the shipyard. We need the detailed reports on the methods and results of tank tests and CFD and the detailed calculation process for determining the ship speed, which includes the way to estimate the power curves. Then, I'd like to talk about item C2E. Item C. These are provided by engine manufacturer. SFC should be collected to the value corresponding to the ISO reference conditions using the standard lower calorific value. Item D. If EPL is adopted, additional documents shown D and E are required. For example, the documents about method of sealing the EPL for mechanically driven type engine or method of monitoring the EPL for electronically controlled type engine. Item E. As you can see, there are many things to be mentioned in this manual. So, we'll make this manual in consulting with the management company. Next, this is the illustration of overview flowchart from preparation of technical documents to the issuance of IEE certificate by Classification Society. When a shipping company prepare and make necessary documents by itself, the company must directly contact the shippers and engine makers. Then, the shipping company needs to apply for verification to class by itself. On the other hand, this is a flowchart when the management company makes use of our service on behalf of ship owners. First, after we receive application for this service, we contact the shipyard to get the documents for EEXI assessment. After we coordinate all the documents, we'll make technical file for each ship. As for the ships which APL is applied, we'll make an onboard management manual as well. After that, we submit these files to class for approval, and class will review. If everything is okay, IEE certificate will be reissued. Now, I'm reaching to the end of my presentation. I would like to emphasize that we, Class NK Consulting Service, fully supports the ship owners from the document preparation to acquisition of IEE certificate. I appreciate you giving me the time to introduce our new support service. If you'd like to learn more about our service, please visit our website or email to us. We are looking forward to doing business with you. Thank you for your attention.